So you got to put some sand on the bottom of the uh, stove so it doesn't um, uh, make the metal fatigued uh, on the bottom of the stove so it lasts longer. So it's just really bizarre that we got to carry sand with us. <laughs> make sure we open the damper. Annie's out there cutting more wood because uh, it's going to get to supposedly minus 28 tonight, so um, we need a lot of wood. <laughs> so what we have here is we got the stove pipe on the tripod, and actually a three pod, and yeah, we got that thing, and the ring around it is uh, fire uh, fireproofed. I'm not sure what it's made out of, but it's not going to burn. Come on in here, Andy. I cut all this wood. He was he was asleep. He was having a nap. I'm cold. <laughs> There's the wood. Uh, we got another pile inside, and uh, I don't know. You think we got enough wood for tonight? <laughs> I need more wood. <laughs> it's uh, what time is it? Oh, go it's twenty to five. I'm going in. You get more wood. <laughs> yeah, that's right. <laughs> it's the wood that's holding the tent up at this point. <laughs> it's cold. So Andy brought his traditional snowshoes. They were really good for packing down the snow, uh, and uh, they look good in photos. I brought my MSR lightweight ones, this, and uh, boy, they were really good walking through the bush today. But not as good putting the packing the snow down for the tent. So I can let Andy do that. I don't know for which ones were better. I, I'm not too sure. I think if I had to choose, I'd go for the MSR ones. They're really lightweight and my legs aren't turned as much as his. Where's the bathroom? <laughs> I got to go. This is this is funny. We, we Andy and I watched a video and uh, you're supposed to use oh god that's cold. Uh, you're supposed to use uh, <laughs> it's cold outside. You're supposed to use that for toilet paper when you're out here. What? That's what that's what they tell you. And uh, I mean, it's it's environmental, <laughs> um, but I think I'll go with this uh, for this trip. <laughs> it's it's not environmental. It's mentally unsound. <laughs> More wood. It is about minus eighteen, I think. Uh, it doesn't feel that cold. It's supposed to be about minus eighteen. It is getting colder though. It's almost five o'clock, getting dark. And he's stoking up the fire in the in the snow trucker tent. I uh, I bought this tent. Um, uh, More wood. <laughs> <laughs> you think we got enough wood here? This is crazy. The three person. I think it's the snow trucker expedition. Fire is going good now. <laughs> I think it weighs what 27 pounds. Uh, it's pretty good. Uh, it's only Annie and I, but it's nice to have uh, the extra room. And uh, we uh, we got the stove going, and it's about 80 degrees in there, and it's about minus 18 out here. So uh, I'm surprised the camera's still going. <laughs> is it cold out there, Andy? Holy. <laughs> it's like night and day. <laughs> it's chilly out there. It's toasty in here. Yeah, That's yeah, it. Andy, I'm yeah. getting naked. <laughs> <laughs> oh, great. We're getting a little worried because it's supposed to be uh, really cold tonight. So we got lots of wood. We figure we're not going to go to bed tonight. We're just going to just stoke the fire all night. And uh, yeah, I bought this tent and uh, it's fantastic, really. Instead of uh, what I call cold camping in a four-season tent, it's so warm in there. It's like 80 degrees, so it's pretty nice. Sorry, I'm closing up for the night. <laughs> really nice thing about it, it's true what they say, winter is quiet. You can't really hear much of anything except except Andy complaining about we don't have enough wood. And uh, it's about just before five, and the nice thing is we we got chili for dinner, right, Andy? I'm gonna go help him with the fire. <laughs> <laughs>